is Jess and welcome to Jess Styled. So for today's episode, we're doing some Christmas treats. So I promised my sister that I'm gonna make her Christmas treats for her restaurant El Capitan, which is located in Gasan Marine Duque. So I'm gonna show you how I decorate or make my Christmas treats. My sister told me that she wants like a farmhouse theme uh, for her restaurant El Capitan. So we're doing a farmhouse theme Christmas treats. Number one, decide on your Christmas theme, whether it's traditional, glam, candy land, winter wonderland, or farmhouse Christmas. Pick your theme for your wreath. Your theme will guide you on the decor pieces that you will be knitting for your wreath. As mentioned, for today, we are making charming and cozy farmhouse theme wreaths for El Capitan. But wait, there's more because we are also making white winter Christmas wreaths with a touch of natural materials for my home. Alright, number two, let's gather our decorating tools and materials. We'll be needing a reliable wire cutter, a pair of scissors, a floral wire, we also used this when we decorated the Christmas tree, a jute string, glue, and of course glue gun in case we need to tightly secure our ornaments to our wreaths. In terms of materials for our farmhouse theme, we have pre-made greenery wreaths in three different sizes from small, medium, and large. A wreath between 24 and 30 inches is ideal for a standard 36-inch wide door. Also have a variety of greenery picks like this evergreen pine needles that look so real. We also have picks with pine cones like this one. These greenery picks are actually perfect embellishment to add textures and layer to our wreaths. We also have here this beautiful magnolia leaves that can be used uh, for our focal point. And yes, we also have here this bunch of pine leaves of different types. And of course, we'll be needing ornaments as additional embellishments. For our farmhouse wreaths, we are using this buffalo check ribbons or bows. I have pre-made them into ribbons. And we'll be needing, of course, berries. Red berries and this pine cones. For our winter wonderland theme, I'm using this natural dried grapevine wreath and of course, I have pine cones for this as well. I'm using also a highly textured Christmas ball, some white berries and white pine leaves. Number three, similar to Christmas tree decorating, let's start by fluffing out the pines of our Christmas tree. This process could be tedious but spend time doing it because this will definitely make a big difference to your wreath. Next, create your focal point. Focal points serve as the center of attraction and attention to your wreath. Your focal point is where you add your biggest, most beautiful, very special picks and ornaments. Your focal point could be placed at the 6 o'clock position of your wreath or 12 o'clock or 9 o'clock position, your choice. There are no rules here. Finally, number five, accessorize or style your wreath using your ornaments. Enjoy and have fun doing it. You can spread your ornaments sparingly all over your wreath or you can focus on accessorizing uh, a specific side of your wreath and leave the other portion bare like what I did here with my white winter Christmas wreath. 
If you're feeling lazy and less enthusiastic putting up a Christmas tree, then a Christmas wreath can do the trick for you. It is the easiest way to fill your home with the magic and cheer of Christmas. You can hang it on your front door or windows or hang it over your mirror to instantly achieve that Christmas feel or spirit around your home. So that's about it. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again next time.